Today, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Brew Sensible Brew Siphon, which was so graciously sent to me to review. Let's get started. All right, so this is the complete kit. Now, I was sent this by the owner of Brew Sensible, thank you, um, to review. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm gonna give you an unfiltered review of this thing. Now, let's go ahead and talk price before we even open up the box. Here are the things you can do. There's a complete kit, which is, I believe, $139.95 in that realm. There's the auto siphon only. Um, there's a couple other things on his website. Your first thought is going to be, and my first thought is that that's pretty expensive. Um, $139 for a complete kit for an auto siphon seems crazy, but let's see what's in here. Let's see what we have to work with. All right, so this is the first time I'm opening this. Obviously, it's sealed. Um, he gave a Anthony. Gave me a note, thank you Anthony, it's very kind of you. Mom and Pop Shop, that's always, I, I enjoy supporting Mom and Pop Shops. They did send me a, um, this was not something included in your kit, but they did send me a very nice Brew Siphon t-shirt. As you can see here, looks pretty sweet. All right, I like that shirt, that's a cool design. That was just a, a gift they sent me, so shout out to you guys, very kind. Um, all right, so what else do we have in this box? I'm gonna go and just pull, well, I'm gonna pull out all the pieces. All right, so we've got a manual to start. Brew Sensible Introduction Guide Cleaning. Some other things, contents of package. So here's, all right, here's everything that's included in this, and I'll show you a picture as well. Stainless steel racking cane with over molded uh, silicone seal, which I'm guessing the cane is in here. Um, siphon body assembly consisting of stainless steel outer siphon tube, silicone gasket, just a couple other things, silicone carboy sleeve, nickel coated, there's a lot of things. I'm just gonna put them on the screen because I don't know that you guys care about me reading them off. This also has some other instructions, cleaning, assembly, use. It's a nice little detailed manual does have some assembly photos, which I'm sure is helpful for um, if you take it apart. This thing is, you're able to completely take it apart to clean it, which is nice. So we got ourselves some tubing. We've got plenty of tubing, actually. We can cut it down to size as we need. Um, I believe this is 3 8 tubing. I think so. We've got some cleaning rods for, of course, cleaning the tubing, which is nice as well. Um, so I'm a, a music teacher and these look a lot like um, what you would use to clean like a trumpet or a trombone um, inside, which is kind of fun. Uh, we also have right here, this is, looks like it's for um, the carboys for like, when you put this into your carboy, it goes, in the top and then it won't slide all the way down. So you don't have to hold your racking cane, which is nice. This is a carboy sleeve and spring clip. So this is for buckets. Could be wrong. Anyways, all right, let's continue on. Move these things out of the way. All right, in our box here, we have the auto siphon. Now it is nicely wrapped. You got a curious dog in the background if you're if you enjoy that. This is all stainless steel, which I do find nice. Um, this itself, ooh, okay, so interesting thing. The end of this is a little bit different than normal auto siphons. Let me find an example. Most auto siphons are just like this plastic tubing. This ha it has a removable, like, I, I can't remember what the real term for this is, but removable end cap. This one looks like it has, it's removable as well. It's a, it's a rubber end cap though, kind of nice. There is of course the the ball and those things in there to help the auto siphoning process. Oh, I can't get this on now. Um, there is, I think this comes off. This is where that assembly instruction comes in handy if you take this thing off and you get it all jacked up. This is nice because you can uh, clean this out easily. So that is helpful. And then of course you have your end 
Now let's talk about the actual cane or uh, racking portion. So this right here, uh, nice rubber, I will say, on the end. And uh, I'm sure it's a good seal. Yeah. I mean, it's high quality. I will say that for your price, you're getting a high quality piece of equipment that is stainless steel. Um, I am curious though, how, I guess if you're attaching, this is that carboy, what's it called? Carboy sleeve. So if you were using, well, actually, let me just grab something. So if you have like a, a carboy like this, this is a three gallon carboy, your carboy sleeve is what protects this from sliding down. So you can see right here that that carboy sleeve, no, I'm not even, sorry. Carboy sleeve right here is, is nice. I think, uh, I will say one little critique I have, well, it does slide pretty easily. If you needed to go further down, you kind of have to lift out for a second and then push down. Um, the perk of this right here is that you you don't have to hold your your racking cane, but you do have to adjust it, assumedly, as you need to go down further, you have to lift out, and push down, because that seal, rubber seal right here, holds it in pretty tight. But the, the whole thing of not having to hold your racking cane is nice. There is this clip which let me grab a bucket. So this is the other thing it was, that was sent with this. This comes with the complete kit. It's on the right way. So your clip goes on the side to hold and then your cane goes down. Oh, I think you have to keep this on actually. Yeah, so you still keep the, um, what do you call this thing? The carboy sleeve on there, but essentially that just holds it in place like that which again is nice if you wanted to adjust it though you'd have to pull the the portion out a little bit but that's nice the clips are nice it is again high quality pieces of equipment um we do have plenty of tubing i think what we probably need to do is just rack something over if we really want to put this to the test so that's what i'm gonna do not right now, I'll do it later, but here, let me let me rack something over and then I'll come back and give you my final points about this thing. All right, so how is it actually using this thing? Um, I racked over, this is a peanut butter jelly mead that I'm going to bottle soon, a lot of headspace. Anyways, moved it out of this container. Practical use, this thing, I mean, it works just like every other auto siphon. I mean, it, it efficiently moved my liquid over. Um, I did enjoy the grip here, that uh, carboy, I don't even remember the name of it. Anyways, so this was very helpful to keep and adjust the carboy height, all that stuff. Um, obviously the clip, if you got a bucket, would be nice to use as well. So this was helpful. Um, I would say that it works like a regular old auto siphon. Um, the cleaning side, I can tell you also is pretty nice. Uh, even just then I double, wanted to double check. I didn't get anything stuck in the filter or anything. And so I pulled this, unscrewed this, and it was, I mean, obviously if I needed a deep clean, it'd be pretty simple. So, works well. Now, here's, here's my kind of complaints. I got a couple things, mainly. I, I like the size for large batches. I personally do a lot of small batch things, so having one that would be a more one gallon si size would be much more helpful for me, because most of the stuff behind me you see is one gallon. I'm probably not gonna use this for a one gallon batch. It's just too big, too cumbersome. Like stuff like this is small, I can rack easier and quicker. Um, of course, you know, there's normal, this is the same size as this in here. Uh, this is just plastic. So my, my first beef is that I wish there was an option for a smaller one, for a one gallon auto siphon. 
the second beef I have with it is is just the price. I mean, I I, I know nothing about business and the expense of how much it is to make something like this but this is a pretty steep price and um you know i, I want to support the people who've created this so please hear me out and hear me say um anthony hear me say that i i am not trying to dig on the price at all i don't know what the real price of this would be but it's expensive so the nice thing about the price well, I should say the nice thing about what you're getting for that price is that this is stainless steel. I'm sure I could get in a fight with a, a group of thugs and beat them over the head with this and come out alive and still be able to rack over my, um, my stuff. I can't say the same for a plastic tubing uh, auto siphon. Now, I have also noticed previous times, like, because this is stainless steel, there's no way it's going to break. I've broken plastic handles before just doing things so this is not going to break this is going to last you forever so for that one price you're going to get a lot of use out of it i don't i don't know how you could possibly break this thing so it works well it's just a little bit pricey um so if you if you want to spend that i mean of course please go support them um and oh i had one other thing as far as um using this for bottling. I don't think I'll end up using this for bottling because, I don't know where my thing went, my bottling wands I have are the 3 8 tubing, which is the smaller tubing. And I'm sure they make a size for this, so you might have to have an adapter, but, or a different size tubing, whatever. But I will not be using this for, for more than large moving of brews. Unfortunately, I will still have to use my smaller 3 8 size uh, auto siphons for bottling. So overall, really a, a nice product. And my, my biggest beefs are just the price of it, quite frankly. Um, I, I think that that is it's a little steep, but it's okay. So if you'd like to go support them, if you'd like to purchase one of these, um, go ahead and check out the link down below. Um, I'm going to shoot everyone I can that way. Obviously, they're, they're a smaller company, and this is a great point for us to talk about supporting small business. And small business means people like the Brew Siphon crew and meteries and mom and pop homebrew shops. So go and, uh, and support local, support the Brew Siphon crew if you would like to, um, if you'd like to do that. Thank you again to them for sending this to me. I will get use out of it. I will be using it for all of my large rackings of things. Um, I just won't be able to do as much for small bottles or bottling. Anyways, thank you for watching. Go check them out, the link below. I'll catch you in a future video. Cheers.